Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today, I have been again. We're gonna show you guys a 90 degree turn, 90 degree angle, whatever you wanna call it, with his 2024 GMC. I've done a lot of videos in the past, and today, we're gonna to be using his brand new 2024 Flagstaff. This is a 361 RL. RL. Nice, nice, yep. a beautiful trailer. But he also has a shocker hitch too, as you guys can see there. So we're gonna pretty much see the clearance. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, we went over all the features and everything. We hooked up to the truck. Now we gotta do the turns and we're gonna see how much of a 90 degree turn we can do with this truck. Let's yeah. get started. Let's do it. Yes. So Ben and I just measured for you guys really quickly. Now, from the bed to the cap right here, what was it again? Eight and a half. Eight and a half inches? Eight and a half inches. Okay, now I didn't do from here, by the way. So you have a bed cover. What's this bed cover called? That is a Rhino Tech. Oh, Retracts? Yep. Retract, there you go, Retract. Yep. So that's probably another inch. So figure with this bed cover, an inch, just use that. But yeah, this is eight inches. You want at least six inches or more for sure. Because with the pin box like this, it is gonna articulate. And from the cap, from the furthest point right here, to the top of the spoiler here, that was... Four feet. Four feet. Yeah. It's so huge. That's huge. 48 inches. That's almost like a long bed. So you guys know how this is going to go. Now, let's go ahead and drop the tailgate down so we can show them how much clearance that you have back here. Because this is awesome. So, normally, on older fifth wheels, when you put the tailgate down, you could barely squeeze between here. But you probably have like three feet or even a little bit more of clearance here. So if you need to get in here, plug in, put your chains in, you have a lot of space, you know, behind your tailgate with it being down. And with GM, you can pop down that other piece right here to give yourself a little bit more arm length. That way you can hook up those chains too. That's nice. It is nice. You did. You got, you got the best setup, in other words. Now I'm come over. It. So come over here real quickly. I'm loving it. One thing I loved about the GM trucks too, because of them, you know, offsetting that fifth wheel prep package, is when you are trying to hook up to your trailer, you do have great line of sight, and you have even better with your hitch mm -hmm. or with your pin box setup. Excuse me, because of that offset that it gives you. So the sharker hitch gives you a little bit of offset. It's like three inches. So look at how much um, space you have. Oh, that's a little bit better. So you guys can see, if I'm pushing the button here, you can still see around the trailer so you can see what's happening so you don't damage your truck or an RV. And for a new guy like me that's just getting into it, that is bonus. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now you'll do good, I mean, you've, so far, I mean, he's done a great job getting it out here. And this is the first time you told something this big too, right? Uh, for about, well, I'm gonna date myself here, right? For about <laughs> uh, 20 plus years, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the last time I told something like this big, I was in the military. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So. Oh yeah. Were well, you ready to make that 90 degree turn? Let's do it. Let's go, I'm ready. So we're all locked in and we're pretty much, yeah, all we gotta do is just turn. Just turn, let's do it. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, you ready for this? Let's see how he does. I mean, I already can tell what's going to happen here. If I need to move my truck, just let me know. There she is. I might be wrong, actually. Let's see. Let me just check your uh, bed rail. Okay, you're good. You're good here. Keep going. You're good. Does it, does it seem like it's getting close? Uh, it feels like it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'll let you know. Here, we'll stop one second. Okay, you're still good with the pin box too. Alright, we'll stop real quick. Yeah, you have like three inches on the pin box. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, if you want, how about this? So, if you want, you can back up, mm -hmm. turn the steering wheel the opposite direction, and then, like I said, we can see about how much we can get in. But we have to take it really slow. Ready? Yeah. 
is inches. You're good. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. I'll tell you when. Oh, you're good. Keep going. Want a little bit more. A little bit more. That stop right there, and I want you to come look at it real quick. Oh yeah, so you see how far away you are? Oh yeah. So the only thing that you have to watch for is I would give yourself a little bit more slack and change. Okay. And then, yeah, look at that. I mean, you're you you can clear because it's gonna pivot just as much as it is right there. It's gonna clear the bed. That's crazy. That is very good. I mean, yeah, you can make a that degree turn. One thing I like about the torsion axles is they don't like uh, articulate as much as the regular axles do. Okay. I like that. Cause on mine, I mean, they would like, they'll be almost tilted down to like the side of the tire. It's crazy. Oh yeah. But yeah, this is all you need. Now I will make this point to you. You'll never have to make a 90 degree turn. I hope not. <laughs> and if you ever have to make a U-turn on the highway, take up all the lanes. Just put your caution on, mm -hmm. block the whole road, and then make your turn when you're comfortable. I've never ever made a 90 degree turn on any of my trucks. I only do this for fun. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, with the GMC and the Chevy trucks, because of that offset with the fifth wheel prep package, and your three inch offset with your fifth wheel pin box, Yes. You have more than enough clearance, it's like you have a long bed. I know it, and there's only what? Eight inches, six inches between the regular bed on the GM and the long bed on the GM? Yep, there you go. Yeah, with the, with the long beds, they don't offset the fifth wheel prep package. No, it'd move it forward. We wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Oh, on the eight foot bed, we could, but but this problem is, like I said, if for most guys, like I'll never use an eight foot bed. Yeah. You know, I would just never. But for, I mean, would you ever get an eight foot bed? You know, is it worth the payload, right? I was thinking about that on the way yeah. over here, right? Is because it's two hundred dollars more it mm -hmm. was when I ordered my truck yeah. to get the long bed, right? Is that little bit of payload worth having that, especially where you got to park it, right? Exactly. Yeah. No, exactly. And I, and I live in a neighborhood where I need as much space as I can. <laughs> we all do out here, and the houses are getting tight. Oh yeah, yes they are. But I hope you guys like the video. We're going to be doing some towing tests with that truck. That's the AT4X 2500, 3500. We're also going to the cat scale, right? Yes. So we're going to be getting the trailer away with both trucks so you guys can see how much payload we would have, all that good stuff. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notification on. See you guys soon. Yep. Peace. Peace. So here is my old setup. This is my 2023 GMC Sierra 3500. Pretty much the exact same truck. Ben just has the refreshed model. But I have the Reese Goose Box, and you guys can clearly see, even though the Reese Goose Box does give you the extra clearance, because in this video you'll see I did make a 90 degree turn, I feel as though it's probably only about an inch to two inches of offset compared to the one that's on Ben's trailer, which is the uh, Shocker Hitch. So this is a true 90 degree turn. At the time when I did this, I did not have a bed cover. So that's why I was able to do this. So just keep that in mind. If you are looking at bed covers, this could affect you on being able to do something like this with a short bed or even a long bed truck.